Hi everybody, my name is Garrett Brown and we are going to be talking about password security today. So just as a brief overview of what we're going to be talking about, um, we're going to start with talking about password strength, um, if it's actually strong. We're going to talk about some weaknesses behind it too. Uh, then we're going to talk about the math behind the password, so like what determines how secure a password really is. Then we're going to talk about types of attacks, so like how the bad actors want to come in and get your information, ways they do that. And finally, we're going to talk about how to be more secure. First and foremost is the password strength. Um, strength has a number of factors. Uh, arguably, the most important is the length of the password. Uh, most passwords, uh, they say, should be eight characters, but like a safe, a safe number that uh, has been found to be like 12 characters long, as opposed to the eight. Then we're talking about character spaces, so that's um, combining like lowercase and uppercase as well as including special characters and numbers and then finally it's um, another aspect of the strength is like non repetition so not repeating obviously so we're gonna start with this question right here which is more secure this um, capital D zero G followed by periods or this random string of um, numbers, letters, and symbols, and we will actually come back to that once we have a bit more knowledge here in a minute. So some common password weaknesses. Here, let me pull up uh, my notepad so we can actually uh, demonstrate some. So common password weaknesses, uh, default, don't use the default password. Uh, so a lot of things on like routers and stuff, the defaults like admin or password or things like that. Um, so definitely don't do that. Then we move into double words. Um, so that's just taking your taking a word and doubling it. So double double. There's a example of a double word. People uh, tend to do that just for to increase the length, but it doesn't make it any more complicated. Uh, then we move to like dictionary words. So anything that can be found in a dictionary and like the variations of that uh, bark. so I there are other um, more advanced hackers and um, bad actors will actually take into account um, instances like these where um, letters are capitalized or slightly different so that's another thing to like include with dictionary words is like yes this is fine right here or this is not fine right here um, but neither is like this because it's still all the same uh, word it's using no um, obfuscation so that actually leads me into ob simple obfusca obfuscation that's a difficult word to say um, so, everyone's favorite password, password, uh, simple obfusca obfuscation would be saying like PA, so that'd be saying something like that, that's simple um, obfuscation. So that's changing it just slightly so that it still resembles the word, but it's not um, overly different. So again, another example, PASSW0. Things like that. Um, it's not complicated, and so I kind of um, have lumped that into dictionary words a little bit because this is still password, and a lot of hackers are smart enough to adjust for things like that. So they would know to look for like O's and zeros, or um, S's and dollar signs, or A's and fours, and things like that. Another common password weakness is to use personal information. Oh, that's not my name. That one's my name. So if I were to use that for a password, that would uh, not be smart because that's commonly found on the internet. Um, so, and then again, more password type things. That's a username I use a lot. So that would be another thing that would be a bad password because it's 
and personal information that's easily available. And I select all and delete. All right. So now we're moving on to the math. Let me just adjust it right here. Um, so password strength is uh, measured by information entropy. So how much information is gained uh, from the length of the password and like other characteristics of it. So you can see the formula here, the log base two of uh, n raised to the l, where n is the possible uh, symbols and l is the length of the password. So that actually goes back to our, um, if we're just looking at this formula here, that actually goes back to our uh, first question. I know this is hard to tell with formatting and stuff, but but um, this password right here, the dog one, is actually one character longer. And because they use the same character space, they have a capital letter, they have a, a lowercase letter, they have a digit, and they have special characters. It's the same character space, but since this one is one longer, it is um, that many times more uh, secure because this length right here. So looking more into this, the biggest factors is obviously length because um, anything raised to the power of something uh, just makes it exponentially increase. And then uh, the other factor is symbols. So and that's making sure you use your uppercase and your lowercase and your uh, special characters because uh, the more you use, the larger this base number will be before you multiply by this exponent. So, like, if you were to use only lowercase, log base 2 of um, log log 2 of uh, 26, 26 is a little less than uh, 3, 4, 5. It's less than 5. But if you use even just one uppercase, log base 2. So one uppercase would make all of that include that. So that would become um, 6. But that makes it just makes the base larger before you start doing the multiplication. Uh, so now I move on to attack types. Um, here are the three most common attack types. We'll start with brute force, so that's um, using all possible password combinations to try and um, attempt to break in. So that's generating, like say if it's supposed to be arguably like an eight string password, it'd be going from there and then doing that and just going through that doing thousands upon thousands a second in an attempt to find the password. And that's where using um, characters and symbols makes that better because um, the more characters and symbols you have, the more choices that it has to make, so the longer it takes. Uh, dictionary attack, so that's using a predefined list of choices. So a common example of that would be like using an actual dictionary plus all of the common passwords that get, um, there's a list that gets generated out online that shows like common passwords, so that'd be things like QWERTY, one, two, three, four. That'd be common things like that. It also include that in the, in the predefined list to go through and like look. And then the last one here, um, keylogger attack. Um, I put an asterisk beside it because it's it's still invasive, but it's not in the same kind of invasion that the brute force in the dictionary attack is. So it takes uh, it installs malware into your um, system and logs your strokes so that would be like if you typed in your password here I would get this information it would be logged and then it'd be sent to me at some random given time um, so ways to be more secure the lar the most um, promising thing and upcoming thing is multi-factor authentication so that's having two different ways to authenticate you are who you are um, it's becoming common in like Facebook and Google. I even use it at work. Um, when I sign into my VPN at work, I have an, a password that I have to put in, but I also get a notification um, forwarded to my phone that uh, that I have to uh, like personally approve before I can actually like log in. 
so that makes it more secure because even if you got my password you wouldn't necessarily have my ability to approve it through my phone um, longer passwords are always be more ways to be more secure so that's instead of making it the basic like eight characters long making it 12 15 characters long even longer if you want to use like a whole sentence that's another idea and avoid the common mistakes because basic is bad the basic things they've been around long enough that people bad actors understand that what they are and know how to get into it and know have developed ways around it this is a comic I found that just kinda helps illustrate the fact um, illustrates the fact that length sometimes is the most important here because if you look at this one down here this is uh, let me count this really quick seven five seven six so 25 characters long that's a lot more to go through and look than going through three, six, nine, 11 that's you can see the significant difference here and you can see the entropy um, just kind of as a bit of a general uh, example here um, and that's it here are my references I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about password security and thank you for your time.